That's good. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, no, it was fun. I went, my problem is I had to listen to my coach. <laughs> I wanted to bang like a mother. So you, he wanted you to game plan and, and use the wrestling that you did? Yeah, no, no he, I'd, be, I'd be nice. Just, you know, go out there and get the W and just work my game and, you know, but sometimes I want to put the, you know, the explosion in the bombs. Great reception from the fans at Peloton for you tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was good, you know, but then just had to think, you know, how to get Bellator some, some film footage because UFC doesn't license anything out. <laughs> he was willing to exchange. Um, did you feel his power at all? Um, yeah, no, any heavyweight has power. That's the thing is if you make a connection, you, you know, you're definitely going to get knocked out, but that's what the fans want to see. Did you see my awesome back fist? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good kicks. Right, right. I, I, don't, I didn't tell any kicks. He did. Why? Do you want a like good leg kick? Oh, I, then, kick? I, then, I, then I got, oh, yeah, you're, 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 you're right. You're right. I have to get my, my 100%. How to get my 100% in kicks in. I'm about two, two per fight. Did he surprise you his ability to get up like that, though? No, it was um, Fat Man Grease. <laughs> it's just fat angry. So you just when you when you're you know above the 260, you just have that extra oil of fat that comes on out of your pores, it just makes things slippery. So overall, how did you feel about your performance? I mean, you said you maybe would have preferred to be you know the, the throwing the bombs in there, but did you feel happy with the way you executed everything? Yeah, no, I, I felt conditioning wise it was good. It's just uh, there's just a lot of things I was just I was thinking way too much. Um, but, you know, it, it's good just to analyze, plus, you know, the jitters of trying to make sure you have an explosion. That's because that was what I was thinking. I was like, dude, I want to knock this guy out. I just, just want to punch him in his face. And then my coach over here is like, ah, oh, just punch him in the, uh, punch him in the engine. Freeze. Brother Freeze is like, punch him, in the, punch him in the engine, punch him in the engine. And, of course, that worked, but I like to take the oil out of the engine and just have a seize. What is the feeling as far as the fight itself? I mean, you fought obviously on the biggest stage everywhere, all over the world, a bunch of different organizations. But I mean, did it feel any different tonight? Was it unique? What, what did it feel like? Uh, I think the only difference is um, I didn't realize the Beltar cage was that small. I got to ask and see if there's two different cages, because that was like the the UFC one where it's like we're gonna fight tonight versus the other one where everybody can run. Did you feel like round three might have been you know the fight was up for grabs in round three? Did you feel like round one was close? I mean, I didn't think any of the rounds were close. Did you? I thought round one was, was sort of close. No. I mean, he came out. Yeah. What, what fight were you watching? Is it because he got up swinging? <laughs> you you got you to gotta make contact to count. Like, that's one thing I love about boxing. Well, the, well, yeah, but that's why I like boxing. Because boxing, they don't count the ones that don't actually hit you in your face. Like, the ones I have on my face are the ones where I was on top and he's just back fisting me. And I'm just like, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. And there's scratches. Just on volume, though, and then he was able to get... Vol to volume of three. punching like this and hitting nothing? I thought you won the fight. Don't get mad at me. I just, I'm, I just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just trying to understand the, the the mindset. That's what I saw. I thought a close round one. Next. You picked up a Fedor bobblehead tonight? I did. Did you have to show up early and get that? It was only the first fight. No, I actually in found it in the, um, the medical room. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? I mean, it, it seems like you got a couple scratches on your face, but overall, it looks like you're you're, you're probably fine. No, that was that was the last round. You know, when I was just punching his face, that was his back fist is on me, and these are uh, glove scratches. So healthy overall. Yeah, I'm ready to fight tomorrow, but I have to wait seven days. You got the seven day. Yeah, for California. Right. Is Fedor the next uh, guy that's on your radar? No, I'm gonna go back to the gym, talk to Brother Farid, and see what I did right and what I did wrong. I did. I felt like I did a lot of wrong stuff, but overall, I mean. W is a W, as he would say, but, yes. you know, it do is you get, what it is. Do you get nerves at your age and with your experience when you come to a new organization like this? Yeah, that's more like Tourette's or, uh, or, the, uh, or the shakes. No, but generally, right is it, was it the nervousness perhaps to deliver something? No, there were, there, no I, I, tonight I had the, you know, the nerves just trying to make sure I wanted to execute a flawless game plan, and, and it, was, it was hard because I was fighting the inner me and, and coach. Fareed, you know, like, because he had me, you know, wanted me to be on the stick a little bit more. And and I was more like, no, no, he's going to run into one of mine. Because he, he's willing to trade, so I'm like, oh, someone's going to run into something. I know it's going to be, I'm going to get ahead. Because every time he was doing it, I, I could see everything he was throwing. And that's why he didn't hit me and didn't get anything. <laughs>
Alright, thank you. Thank you, Roy. <laughs> <laughs>